Carroll Shelby became famous for his iconic and powerful Cobra Roadsters and Coupes and for his Mustang GT350. The original Mustang wasn't a match for the muscle cars or the Corvette. Lee Iacocca, the president of Ford, wanted Shelby to turn the Mustang into a real competitor. And Lee Iacocca thought that it ought to be a sport car, so Iacocca called me one day and said, we sure want to make this a sport car. And I thought, oh, no, this, you know, this is a secretary's car. So I called a friend of mine that, that ran Sport Car Club of America, I said, what would it take for this thing to build a sport car? He said, put a more powerful engine in it, put bigger brakes, improve the suspension, take the rear seat out and throw it away. <laughs> That's about all. So I called Icoca and told him, yeah, I could do it, but I needed $15,000. They cut me to $1,500 and we built the GT350. 60 days, got it done, took it out and tested it. And sure enough, it'll blow the Corvettes off. We built 500 cars the first year built about 20 of them as, as racing versions. They sold like hotcakes to these guys that wanted to go uh, race against the Corvettes that couldn't afford the Cobras. Uh, we sold them for, I think, $39.95, which you can see things were a lot cheaper there racing than it is now. Peyton Kramer worked at Ford. He was our sales manager. He came in one day and says, I know the guy that runs Hertz. I said, I think I can go sell him 100 of these GT350s. I said, that'd be wonderful if he could do that because we only planned on building about 500 of them that year. He called me from New York, said I sold him 1,000. I said, that's great. We sold him 1,000, but the problem was people would take these things and rent them, go to the drag strip, win them a trophy, take the engine out and put a regular little $200 Mustang engine in them and bring them back. Hertz would start calling them. <laughs> Say, we got one of these things that's got a different engine in it. What do we do now? It was something that got us a lot of publicity, but uh, uh, it was a fiasco in the end. The next year, uh, 66, we built 1,700 cars. The next year, we built 5,000. The next year, we built something between five and 6,000. And we built, along the way, 20,000 of them beating the Corvettes in their class in the SCCA six, seven years with, with the Mustang. We had a good run with the Mustangs, and uh, they bring now an average of about 10 times more than we sold them for. So it was a good program that I didn't want to get into, and as I look back now, I'm glad that Lee made me do it. If you're lucky enough to get behind the wheel of a Mustang GT350, or just see one race, you can feel the joy of speed Carol Shelby's cars have given drivers from day one.